Hello and welcome to another video of mine. Today we're going to be reviewing one of the most amazing expert boards ever that someone had actually got in a world record in it and that's Ian Fraser's Fraser's depending on your accent how you say it 32.95 which is simply astounding because well first of all I'll just play the game in its full speed and I have simply no words to express how amazing this game is like the board himself Ian himself is a very skilled player he relies well he relies too much on flagging doesn't do no flag much if he would have done a lot more more no flag on this game this would have been a sub s sub 30 might I even say yeah that that's the game eight openings 103 BB <laughs> that's all before actually going to this game like reviewing the record itself we're going to look at Ian's uh, earlier games to just see how his playstyle changed and to see really how he could have improved his record um, oh let me actually play this again but in slow motion this is his 50.3 um, why do I want to look at this one just to show you how much well I am unnecessarily chords and flags I have the problem too currently but you see he necessarily flags here and wastes chords when he can just no flag but it's just Ian's play style and it surprisingly worked for him well and he actually got really good times with it so just it worked for him so I guess it was pretty good for him but if he would have used no flag more a lot he would have gotten a lot m better times more quicker but to each their own as you can see he lo he could have just no flag right here and he would have just well, that's the problem that I also have with like no flagging I just prefer flagging uh, also I'll stop here for a second he un I'm going to play this game like not play this game but um mm -mm -mm, f3 wait now a second oh okay is it this game no 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 uh, uh, hang on a second I need to it's UPK mode and now F yeah oh, okay we're going I'm on the game see like here in this section it's okay for him to cord like this because it just saves you clicks but if you cord in a section like here you have to just place extra flags and like it just loses you some a lot of time because you have to place a lot of flags and if if you try to play safely with those flags it, you're just going to lose time with this so really it's not that useful and I need to change this a bit all right oh I did not mean to open order okay so continuing with Ion's game um, he continues his journey up I'm going to actually play it a bit faster he and he places a lot of unnecessarily flags although he still does no flag in some places he yeah th that's a big problem of his yeah I just played like to the right here how he would like play this section out by just courting everything like he did, did it pretty well like here uh, where, where is it more to the left let me just get to this place the board like yeah doing like this is actually pretty efficient with those ones but generally this game 
it's pretty nice of Ion, but as you can see, he uses a lot of flags. And his next expert PB, which is a 45.3, he continues with flag and courting. And this game is 105 3 BB, so pr really, really low for a PB. And he, Ion seems to, seems really just very lucky with getting those boards. Well, it seemed he doesn't play now, as far as I know. But he now he like in this PB we can clearly see that he makes a lot of like. Let me rewind a bit back. A lot of efficient courting, not just losing clicks. Like here, he didn't actually no flag. I was I'm actually surprised since I thought he would place a flag here and just court. Here he places a flag and cords, and this is actually efficient uh, because it opens the possibility of courting and just doing the like, less amount of clicks. So that's that's on him that he did that. That's pretty well done. Here he again unnecessarily flags, but generally. He gets he a really really good board, and just it's amazing that he well he could have gotten way better time, but it's just his playstyle. He does eventually learn how to efficiently though do these games, but at the beginning he had some trouble with it, and in this PB which is his first sub 40, which is 39.96. We can actually see, like, for actually flag plus, plus no flag in this one. He's getting really good with those sections that just require no flag and just does the, le the least amount of clicks possible. He just does... This section is absolutely beautiful that he did, just did. I'm going to rewind it a bit and play it again. So here he clears this, no flags, again, chords. He could, he could have just no flag here, but this ending is really, really good. Although he hesitates here a bit, does this chord to lower the required amount of like left clicks to win of course that's what recording is and just no flex this and gets another PB and all of this like the game that I just showed you okay this next PB happened a month after his last PB so the 39 this game is uh, 38.72 and basically doesn't there are not many changes from his last PB, just better solving ability and lower 3 BB. This game is 125, the last one was 129. He does a lot more, more no flag and that's like here, this section is really really good and Ion just absolutely destroys this board and gets 38. And <laughs> he has a 38. Uh, usually, when you're at sub 40 in my like on expert, it's you're going to get slowly to like th th maybe 36, 34, 33, 31, and you're getting to the like l low 30s. F only few people have gotten there, but you get there slowly. I am on the other hand, goes from 38 to a world record. And this 38 that I just previously like, w had it open, I was just showing you. A week later, he gets a world record, which is absolutely insane. This was Ion's last expert PB. What, w it was a world record. Whenever, if you get a, if you, manage to get a world record in Minesweeper, there's a high chance you'll never be... Well, 
there's a chance. I'm I'm not saying never. There's a chance you won't be able to beat it because beating times in mind like world records in Minesweeper is really tough because the competition is just very so high. So continuing, we're going to start this game that I showed you at the beginning, but just watch it in slow motion. So he does like the opening thing like the opening circle but just gets one big opening so decides to immediately flag and cord I would do too does a really good no flag this really good click here continues his journey through top section unnecessarily flag well not necessarily well there was an opening so kind of necessarily no flags this well I'm going to um, play UPK mode on this okay okay let me hit those openings so he has this section cleared he has he like he can uh, iron can cord and he basically mastered cording and flagging at this point so he has absolutely no problem with it, but, but as you can see here mm, Let me just rewind a bit He like completes this section hesitates no flags and then goes back so he, like uh and okay here and Just okay. I lost this but uh, like the, Okay, it's my it's on me He he is a bit afraid to I don't understand why he didn't want to click the square though because th there might be might have been a chance of there being an opening oh well no actually there 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 would have to be a mine somewhere here so he could have just clicked this and the cord so let me actually show what I mean okay F3 so here in this moment um we don't have to look at this I'm just gonna clear it anyway so like we have this section um, we know that this is all mines because of this four and it already touches everything so I should have just clicked here and since like this one or actually I should have placed a my way what actually I did well I did the smartest thing but I would have done something like this and just went down although it doesn't make any sense it's a bit safer well actually the two things might are like equally good but I would have just done the safer thing but that's without unfair prior knowledge if I would know that I I'm having a really good board that requires a just small amount clicks to complete I will be playing just to beat because my PB is currently really bad and I would just be like okay let's just finish this board I don't care I make, can make some mistakes let's just finish it but if you're going for a world record you're you're like I am in the small bit you just balls to the world you have to go and just show everyone that, that you're a beast basically he continues in the middle does a really good no flag here like combo clicks in this section really really good stuff continues with no flagging clears this four and just goes down clears does really really good uh, section here by placing two mines here in cording he clears three tiles or four actually I don't remember actually let's go back not three tiles clears this five does no flag again finishes the section hesitates a bit does a really good no flag here finishes thinks for a second clicks this five and in the process shocks absolutely everyone and gets a world record of 32 0.95 absolutely amazing board 
just shocking. He beat uh, Kamil Buransky's game of 34.65. Well, 27... The 34.65 by Kamil stood for 27 days. I think that's the shortest amount ever. Well, not ever. Uh, actually, I think um, there was a game by Lassen. Like, well, the first sub-50 by Lassen uh It stood for uh, five days, I think. Yeah, I just checked it. And I, after getting the, the game, was simply the champion. And no one could ex absolutely beat him. And it took Kamil over 10 months to beat it with a 31.08 no 40 no 31.89 on the 103b 103 board and i might cover it in the future episode or just video so um what happened after i uh, i got uh, th this game well i am I don't want to say anything bad about him, but he really relies he about like relies on flagging too much, and I'd say that his limit would be a uh, thirty six or thirty five. But with this amazing board, he used all of its potential, absolutely squeezed everything from it, and got this amazing time. Was this the last PB that he ever got? No. Ian actually got a big uh, intermediate PB on Vienna Sweeper. 9.45. That we can see that even even on intermediate he realized too much on flagging. But like, okay, here in the middle we can see that it's okay for him. Like this section with flagging, he did really like absolutely amazing. But he, okay, this section if he if he would have just clicked this opening, and then clicked this, let me uh, let me go back for a second. The estimate time says that he, this would have been an eight point four time, but he didn't know about this opening. And he forgot to click this uh, space, which he actually could have just, he could have finished this, and just clicked, went here, but he decided to f click this tile and just go with this. If he would have clicked this opening, it would have been better, but we make mistakes. Here it says the estimate is 8.6 and he wait, wastes over a second. Yikes. But this is the last PB that Ian had ever gotten. And even in here we can see that he no flag light. And that's going to be it for today. I explained the luckiest world record board. That was a luckiest expert world record board. That was a world record because there definitely have been way, way better boards. But the luckiest and the best boards are those which we blast and just skip over because that's how luck works. No one is going to ever get a perfect game. Well, I'm saying, yeah, there might be like z the zero, 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 zero chance for it. 0.1 of course and like going for it but like talking in general in order to get like an absolute perfect intermediate expert game I'm not saying beginner because beginner it's easy it's easy to get like it's more there's more chance for it there are more chances but going into big intermediate and expert games I don't think so chief uh, but really thank you for go like sticking until the end. I took a day off yesterday because I wanted a break and also wanted to do more research on some more stuff. 
regarding my videos, like the for next topics on what to do. Also wanted to investigate how Ion plays, just not to make a video right away on what he does. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for sticking with me on this wild ride and I hope you have an amazing day and see you next time.